Yes, next you know we have pilot valve. This pilot valve is also similar like a fiber to waste switch valve which we discussed in the previous slide but it has two additional things which is called signal support. So we can see here is a 12 and 14 numbers actually this is 1, 2 and 1, 4 and this valve is called 5 by 2 way pilot pneumatic rotating pilot valve. So we can see here this is called signal port. One is the air supply input port, two and four is output port, and three, five exhaust port here. This is the real stuff. You can see this real stuff. In this so video. what you see in front of you is the five by two way pilot valve or five by two way impulse valve. So this is port one. So this is where the air supply is connected. And over here we have port two and port four. So this is port two and port four. These are output ports. And these two ports that you see, this is one, two, and one, four. So these are the signal ports that was just explained a few seconds ago. So we can see here in the five by two way switch valve, all the symbols in the five by two pilot valve are same, except that here we have actuation, but here we have one, two, and one, four, which is called signal port. Signal ports means the air pressure not all the time present. If we have a solid line just like a one, the air pressure is all the time present. So this is five by two switch valve, but here we can see this is five by two wave pilot valve. Here we do with a switch to open close the valve, but here is you see this air line basically supply the air to make a movement. There is a lever inside to open close this valve. Next is the roller valve. Roller valve is used for the automatic movement of a cylinder, right? It is similar, just like a three by two way, normally closed switch, but a push button valve. I can show you here. If you see here, this is a symbol of three by two push button close valve. This symbol is also same here, but there is an additional, we use the roller here. You can see, so one is air supply, two is the output port, and three for the exhaust. So this is the uh, roller valve. Okay, uh, this is port one where the air supply is connected and this is the output and this is the roller. This is used with a cylinder. So when the cylinder opens, it touches the roller which activates port two. So they both have to go in conjunction or together. So we can see here, this is hammer number three. All the components are attached here. We have three air supply. We have two air signals port which is one to one four. And so we see the real experimental work on a table. So let's see here, this is a three by two way roller valve. One for the air supply, two for the output port, three by two push button close valve, and five by two way pilot valve. And we have also, this is double acting cylinder. What happened when we press this three by two push button valve from here, the cylinder is open but the cylinder is closed by this roller valve. So this roller valve make the system automatic. So it go back without, you know, any like human touching. So you can see here, this I again press. So here are the assignment number three question and answers. Next, you know, we have dual pressure valve and shuttle valve. So I'm going to explain you what are these valves here. So here you can see this is dual pressure valve. It means this is the left side and the right side, both side, the air enter and basically make this is number two output port active. And the dual pressure valves mean A and B, two closed valve push together then the system will be active. So here you can see here, due to pressure valve. So this is the symbol over here. We have the left side and the right side. And this is port two, which is the output port. For port two to activate, the air has to come from both directions. That's why this is called a dual pressure valve or AND gate. Next, you know, we have shuttle valve, right? Next, you know, we have shuttle valve or gate. 
in the shuttle valve or OR gate, only one side, the air can enter, right? And other side will be used in uh, no need. So if the air is entering from this side here, it can activate the number two. And similarly, if the air is entering from this side, it can activate again in output port two. And uh, you know, we can see this like, I know, uh, valve here, uh, shuttle valve in this position. Yes, here are the symbols in the both drill pressure valve and the shuttle valve in the symbol. Now you can see the real in front of you. This is the shuttle valve or OR gate. This is the symbol. So this is port two again. We have the left side, right side. So if air comes in from either either side, so if it comes in from the left side, the port two will get activated. If it comes in from the right side, port two will get activated. If it comes in from both directions, also port two will be activated. So that's the difference between the AND gate and OR gate. The AND gate is actually used for for like a safety situation, right? But this one, uh, OR gate is used for emergency situation, right? Either A or B, anyone can open, but in case of drill pressure valve, both like a two push button has to get pushed together to operate the system. We will show you the real practical stuff over there. So in assignment number four, we can see here, we have one pilot valve, we have three push button close valve, we have one drill pressure valve, and we have double active cylinder, what happened? This A and B both push together, this line become active and it give the high pressure to open the cylinder. Same like that, C is for the close. Okay, in assignment number five, assignment number four and five, both are same except, you know, here we use a shuttle valve here. So if A press, this line become active and give the high pressure to open the cylinder. Same like that. If the B press, nothing happen because it is already open. If the C, you know, press from here and it becomes the active, this like the air signal line and give the high pressure air to the number four port and the, the cylinder will be closed. So anyone can open A, either A or B, that's why it is called I, uh, OR gate. Well. So let's see the assignment, how it works. So over here we have three, uh, three by two way closed valves and this is the pilot valve and this is the AND gate, you can see the symbol there. And on top we have a double acting cylinder. So if I push one button, the double acting cylinder doesn't open because this is an AND gate. So I have to push both the buttons and then the double acting cylinder opens and this button is pushed to close the double acting cylinder. So this is the AND gate. In assignment five, we have again, three three by two way valve normally closed and we have a pilot valve and we have the double acting cylinder and this time we have the OR gate. So what happens is when I push one button, the double acting cylinder opens. So this is to close the double acting cylinder and when I push the other button, the double acting cylinder opens and finally when I push both buttons, the double acting cylinder still opens. These are important components of pneumatic systems. So we can see here, this is compressor, this is a simple pneumatic reservoir, pressure supply. So student can read from the book all these like important symbols which we discuss in our life. So here is exercise number one. You can see the answers. Exercise number two. Exercise number three. Exercise number four. Exercise number five, six, 